So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So one of the most futuristic crossovers is now on my channel. Well, most futuristic Chang'ans on my channel. What I have here is the Chang'an Unity, named after... I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> I didn't expect to walk around review this at all. So I'd like to thank everyone here at Chang'an Kainta and to Miss Kate. So these are contact details. If you want to buy any other Chang'an or this Unity or even the Unique, you may contact her and visit this dealership. This is the most striking what crossover I've seen so far because I've driven a lot of striking cars now on my channel. So there's a trend ongoing now that you just slap a concept design and then make it into a production car. So this is what I like with Chang'an. So they decided to go with that route too along with the Unique, so hopefully I'll do a walk around tour of that very soon too. So the other thing that caught my attention in the exterior here, besides of course, look at this face. It is so freaking awesome, I have to say. As well, you get LED lights all around. So there's like a streamlined effect over here as well here on the hood. And my favorite part of this Chang'an is on the side profile. I mean, look at this streamlined horizontal belt design. It just says here in this brochure. There's no better way of explaining it. But what caught my attention the most though, are the wheels. This is the biggest wheels I've seen in a Chinese brand so far. So these are running on 20 inch wheels and continental tires. So I've never seen that combo too before. So on the rear profile too, it looks very very striking. So the rear quarter panel, so it mimics that of like European crossovers or SUV. So it kind of gives it like coupe SUV vibes. But it does give this Unity a very very striking look I have to say. So as well, you're wondering what's underneath the hood of this Unity. Let's open it up. And I love you have Aston Martin style door handles over here. So powering this Chang'an Unity, it's exactly the same engine like that of the CS55. We also did a review of that here, the Hype variant. So this one's powered by a 1.5 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder engine, albeit detuned from the CS55. So this is only producing 179 horsepower, but it still retains the 300 newton meters of torque, as you can see here on top of the engine cover. So like with the CS55 Hype, so this still has a 7 speed wet type dual clutch transmission, but unlike the CS55 now, this is mated with a shift by wire system so very similar with the bigger hyundai crossovers i assume the performance will be very much more or less the same but hopefully we can get the drive a unity very very soon too so as well you get led tail lights for the rear and numerous claddings here on the side so the most hilarious thing with this what unity is this i was expecting fake exhaust but you got surrounds on four exhaust pipes so i kind of give that a pass and i dig this look actually so it gives it more of a sportier vibe i have to say so you get a blacked out part here on the side profile so it gives it more of a floating roof design and yet again with more of the striking looks look at this spoiler design that's pretty much insane so it looks like more or less like its competitor i did a review of that too so what else do you get here you get a unity badge over here reverse camera and a diffuser i mean anyway it's there for design only so one disadvantage though with coupe ish suvs is this i mean the boot space here is generous but given the sloping roof design yeah it will eat up a lot of space but still you get 350 liters of space over here and then there's cubby spaces on each side 12 volt socket with led light although hilarious thing if you noticed immediately there is no tonneau cover but there's like protrusions over here that you can put a tonneau cover but i did ask specifically to miss kate that you can order a tonneau cover if you want only i wish it just came as standard only and of course if you fold all of the seats down it's still pretty generous it is at 1185 liters so that's about it with the exterior the boot and the engine of this unity so there's a lot more to talk about so let's go to the interior So this is the interior of the Chang'an Unity. Stand her up since it's so freaking hot. Oh, look at the cluster and the infotainment system. So the infotainment more or less is exactly the same like with that of the CS55. So there's a lot you can do here and of course all of your ADAS, your 
steering modes and everything else driving modes will be controlled here in the infotainment system you can adjust the driving modes in all three places so you can do it here in the infotainment system here on the swivel wheel just below the auto hold button and then here in the instrument cluster it's controlled here by the right side of the steering wheel i mean look at that i love the instrument cluster it's a little bit better than that of the cs55 it will change depending on the driving mode so we're here at normal it's purple ish reddish then switch it up sport mode little bit more diamond ish effect and then here's eco mode for once i dig the normal mode because of course it's my favorite color and yeah there's a lot you can do again with the instrument cluster so all of your adjustments will be done here on the right side of the steering wheel along with your phone connectivity buttons and on the left side it's solely for your cruise control functions and your voice command buttons and i find the voice command a little bit inaccurate so let's just start it out i am listening Close Sorry, sunshade. I haven't mastered this skill. Close sunshade. Yeah, she will say bye bye because I demoed this. I don't hear any commands from you. I'll leave you for now. Bye. Yeah, so it's exactly the same system like that of the CS55 hype. Remember that. So here in the steering wheel, I love the steering wheel, it's just the steering wheel, it's not the OA Peugeot style like that of the CS55 Hive. And then there's a red unity embossment just down below. So the most striking part here in the interior is actually the seats. They're, these are like sport bucket seats, look at the ball swing, very good. Although, unlike regular sport bucket seats, these are really really soft, it's so comfortable. I mean, it will hug you in pace pretty well. And yeah, I, I dig this seats. These are my favorite Chang'an seats so far so here in the door card there are a lot of soft materials here and there i mean it's squeegee there's not much plastic apart from this below where you have cubby spaces and butt holders on each side my big water jug fits and then here on the left side of the dashboard you have adjusting for your side mirrors a blank button electronic tailgate button and your headlight leveler adjuster so there's no cubby space here that's for your fuse box only and i like this striking design here throughout the dashboard there's like matte brush effect here on top of the air conditioning vent that stretches all the way to the front passenger i like that then above here you have your sensors then there's more squeegee material there's not plastic and then here you have your air conditioning controls further down below you have a pad for your phone and on the left side you have wireless charging pad fits my phone perfectly even though my phone's not capable of what wireless charging and then i just found out right now there is a sole usb port just on the right side little bit of a nitpick only yeah there's only one usb port here you can find anywhere else although below the center console itself there is a big cubby space just down below yet again there is nothing to connect on i mean there's no extra usb port or a 12 volt socket that's just a small nitpick of mine only behind the wireless charging pads you have a cup holder with plastic grips my water jug fits although getting it out might be a little bit of a struggle only but i do love this gear lever it's one of the most striking ones i've seen so far and on the right side of the gear shift itself you have buttons for your 360 degree camera your onboard dash cam and for your parking assist there's a blank button here too oh yeah this has parking assist capable i think parallel parking it literally says here on the brochure too so hopefully we can get a test drive again of this soon so i can demo it all out and as well i did mention this too earlier with the infotainment system like all the changans like the cs35 hype coming soon and the cs55 hype and the upper variants of the aforementioned vehicles that this has a onboard dash cam which i find very very handy so you don't have oh no 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 stop <laughs> i pressed record by accident yeah at least you don't have to put a dash cam here anymore at least when you buy changans they'll save you a lot of money at least and above here you have your light controls and your sunshade only with your panoramic sunroof so you cannot open the sunroof itself but i don't mind it at least you have a sunshade itself takes a while to open and close but hey at least there is so but sun visor vanity mirror only there's no light don't extend but that is really really thick so good quality to the sun visor so quality fit and finish here among the better changan i've tried out more or less the same like with the cs55 hype oh yeah and then glove box okay it's pretty narrow but at least it's wide enough so like with the cs35 i sadly the center console box is not as big as that one i'll show you guys later but at least this still retains the cooling function in this console box so this can act like a refrigerator so that's about here in front of this unity let's go to the rear seats 
So this is the rear of the Chang'e Nudity. So despite having the sloping roof design, I mean the space here is excellent. Feet room, new. It's very good throughout. Although my headroom, I mean I'm 5'4", this is my headroom. Despite the sloping roof design yet again, it's not so bad for me. And I just realized sitting here, you feel you're so sunken down in the chassis. I mean, it is really low. Like, look at my eyeline already here on the door. And yeah, taller people might tend to struggle a little bit here. I mean, six foot might be the absolute maximum here. You have LED lights above here too. Map pockets on each side. The door cards exactly the same materials like the ones in front. You have smaller cubby spaces now and cup holders on each side. Still fits my big water jug, which is really good. And you have a central armrest here with two cup holders. They do not fit my big water jug whatsoever. And then, like with every other Chang'an, here in the middle, you have a lone air conditioning vent. So Chang'an really likes to make you fight with your family, so just kidding. <laughs> and then you have one USB port. Yeah, that's it. There's not even a cubby space whatsoever. I hope they tend to improve this in the later year models, that to have additional USB ports and cubby spaces here at the rear. The ones at front, yet again, like an additional USB port. That's my only complaint here with this Chang'an Unity. So as well, if I sit here in the middle, there's a transmission tunnel. It's very short. It's the size of my shoe. Sitting here in the middle is much more comfortable than that of the left and right side of the seat. However, though, these seats here at the rear are one of the softest I've tried out. I mean, look at how much squish there is. And it's definitely one of the most comfortable too. I think I'd rather stay here in the back than be the one driving. We will know soon in the future. So for the cost of all of this, the Chang'an Unity starts at 1,679,000 pesos. So pretty much worth it for all the tech and the design fest here and there. So there's only one variant too only. So that concludes my walk around review. I'd like to thank Chang'an Kainta and to Miss Kate, these are contact details yet again, for making this walk around review possible. There will be more reviews coming here again from Chang'an Kainta. So hope you guys like and subscribe and I will see you with more future car reviews. Bye-bye.